Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to The Witcher 2. So we just got out of the Lavalette dungeon, and uh, because we helped Arian, I guess, this is what somebody pointed out to me, is that uh, I got this strong back ability, which means I can carry more items, so I get a plus 50 capacity. That's actually pretty major. I don't know if there's a lot of opportunities to increase this down the road, so I'm really stoked that we got that. Also, we ran into a new boy who... Uh, said he was going to distract the guards for us, which is nice so we can get to the boat and I was <laughs> a lot of people were like, why would you kill new boy? I was mostly just joking. I don't I don't really need to kill the guy I just think it would be cool if if it could get um, the amulet he was talking about. So anyways, let's get going and uh, go to the boat uh, Let's loot the whatever has escaped. We need to cut him off. Follow me All right Let's go! Oh, okay, this is him distracting them, right on. Oh, we got something down here? Oh, mystery stairs, mystery loot. I like it. More timber. Man, I don't know. <laughs> I better start crafting things soon. Is that, uh... I think that might be someone with red hair. Geralt, over here. Oh, it totally is. Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, we got more weird positioning sacks. It's really bizarre how some of these you just keep, like I don't know if it's just me, but some of them you have to really be in a perfect spot to get them, and I don't know why. I'll try this one more time here. Really weird. Oh well. Okay, let's check over here first, and then we will go talk to her. Do not flee this way. Very well. Back to your positions. New boy, you stay here. Raise the alarm if need be. Uh. Okay. Death Do to the king! Oh, yep, yeah, absolutely fight him. Oh, new boy, stay out of this. Oh, this is not good. Actually, having this big staff is pretty cool. Oh, crazy. Well, listen, New Boy did say we could end up foes or something. Oh, cool. Look at this. New Boy's talisman. No way. That's awesome. We can actually get the thing. Okay, this is pretty cool. See if there's anything else over here. Let's check this out. Let's see what this is. New boy's talisman. Um, <laughs> armor minus ten percent. Supposedly very powerful trinket capable of protecting its owner. <laughs> what? Like, how is that going to be useful? Ah, uh, so if he would have worn that, he definitely would have died. And now I kind of feel bad because he's dead anyways, but at the same time, I guess he just had to, he had to fight because his buddies were fighting. And he mentioned, like, we could be foes, which I guess, oh, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. I'm a witcher, I feel nothing. So many things just strewn about. I gotta say though, like, look at this. It just looks awesome out here. It's almost peaceful in a sense, like minus the whole uh, burning fire thing. <laughs> but even that, it's not that bad. 
All right, we got a few boxes over there I can go check out. I wish you could jump from any ledge. Not that there's like a ton of ledges, but... Ooh, yellow meteorite ore. Haven't seen anything like that. What does that actually do? Oh, it's a crafting component, okay. I don't know if I'll use that to make swords later. Another stone medallion. Bryonia? I don't think we've picked that up before either. All right, let's go back to, uh, to Triss, who called for us earlier. I don't know, I kind of feel bad about New Boy now, and you guys were all like, oh, why would you kill New Boy? And I was like, yeah, you're right. And then, yeah, well, he's dead. Because he had to defend his buddies, I guess? Where's she going? Oh, whoa. Oh, these guys are with us. Okay. <laughs> Everything all right, Geralt? Everything's good. Orange and twine. Bloody hell, you didn't have to torch the castle. You were to sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. <laughs> Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. Oh, shit. People say what they think they have to. I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Roach will see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy, but you're mostly correct. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravel rule Temeria now, or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago, I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Oh, this should be interesting. Prepare to cast off! Clear the lines and all aboard! Lines clear, Captain! They keep mentioning this Yorveth, and uh, even Newboy said that he overheard the Skoyatel, I think, yelling Yorveth, Yorveth, or something. I don't... So many names get thrown at you very quickly. And now it sounds like we have these two guys who want to become the, the, the new king. Honor's a curious thing. Honor made Arian fight a mismatched battle against the might of Temeria. Facing defeat, Honor told Arian to bow his neck to save his men. But that same Honor prevented him from saving himself. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, 
As water lapped against the boat's side, Tris told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and what? his toxic relationship with a sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold. Here we are in float time. It's nice to hear Dandelion's voice again. That's cool. Four months earlier. Okay. This guy looks pretty awesome. Oh. Sheathe your sword, Elf. I'm here to talk. Bow low. You stand before a head crowned. That of Demavend, King of Edurn, by the grace of the gods. Sovereign of the Pontar Valley, and so on. And you are? A friend to non-humans. I have an offer. Speak quickly and to the point. The Arrakis will soon return, and I'd rather know all before then. I can add several more heads to this one. Each crown. Go on. Foltes to start with. I barely escaped in Eder. I'll need help. Access to your hideouts and maps of your secret trails. And the support of the Scoyatel. I want no gold and have no interest in the killer's fame. Then why do you wish them dead? It's a long story. Your beast nabbed his necker. Time to go. Do we have a deal, Elf? Ladies and gentlemen, chapter one. So that assassin guy from the very beginning, that was the head of the king that he killed at Clotson the start. should be just beyond the point. We'll take the beach. Who's we? You and me. Reconnaissance. I'm coming too. You should stay behind. We can't be sure of the reception we'll get. Precisely why I won't let you go alone. Someone's got to look after you. That time of the month. <laughs> okay, so we gotta... I just gotta talk this through here because that's pretty insane. Um, okay, so there was the assassin from the very beginning who killed that king. We don't know why he wants to kill these kings, but he's requested the help of the Scoyatel. 
uh, from that elf guy. And apparently they said okay. And so now he's killed two kings, the one from the start and full test. But, like, why? I don't get it. I don't know what's going on. That's so bizarre. Um, I'm going to try to find that enhancement. I have this leather armor enhancement. So let's just throw it on our raven's armor here. There we go. So that's now a eight armor. That's pretty good. Um, we've got our Diable. We've got our Arondite. So apparently we have all our stuff back, which is nice. Let's check out our other... We do have the Gwisarm, which actually is better than what we're using. It does more damage, and it has a percentage of stun and uh, knockdown. So I'm going to go back to that, actually. And let's see if there's anything else. In terms of a silver sword, we have 11 to 18. But I think that's it. Okay, let's get going here. What now? Carrying too much weight. Really? Oh, wow, I am carrying too much weight. Okay, I'm just gonna walk here, and I'm gonna see if there's anybody around here I can sell this to. Your witch's ass is gonna have to get wet. Jump! How goes it, witcher? I really Come don't mind, already. uh, slowing it down a little bit if we're gonna get to maybe a town or something soon. Your witch's ass is gonna have to get wet. Jump! Okay, guys, I, I get it. Go. Come on already! Alright, I guess this is where we're coming. Water's cold as hell. Come on, Witcher! How do I get off of here then? Witcher, we're waiting. Water's cold as hell. Come on, Witcher! There we go. Okay, so Any we're in the floats and forests. The port's blocked. Some merchants have been held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Yorveth rules the forest. Yorveth rules the forest, he said. Was Yorveth that guy that we saw? The, uh, the elf dude? Can we go? She Let's is move. quite demanding this one. <laughs> Now, if I have to fight somebody, am I going to be in trouble with all this weight? I'm hoping I can hold on to it, because if I can stay with these guys, we're all just walking anyways. It's not such a bad deal. We? In a forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Denevend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. Demavan, was he the previous king? I do believe he was. Um, let's see here. Th so we'll just go th quickly through our updates. Uh, with the new silver sword in hand at last, Geralt's job became incomparably easier. Finally equipped like a witcher should be. Um, here we go. So first in prison and now pursued for a crime he did not commit, the witcher was sailing up the Pontar River toward the town of Floatsum. Geralt wanted to clear his name and was intrigued by the Witcher-like assassins. Our hero needed to solve the mystery of the Kingslayers, and a certain informant of the Temerian Intelligence Service was to help him in that. Uh, we escaped the dungeon. Geralt was free. He rushed towards the riverboat of the Special Forces. His head, a jumble of questions, Triss Marigold and Vernon Roach awaited him on board the vessel, but alas, they had no answers. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. And then Melatelli's heart. Oops. The Witcher was not careful enough and a fight broke out uh, despite New Boy's help. Thus, the false amulet's owner, having heeded the Witcher's advice, ultimately died by his hand. Yeah. Oops. Okay, Flotsam Forest. So the wilderness surrounding Flotsam has a thick, impassable wood where inexperienced travelers could easily lose their way and fall victim to wild beasts or even more probably elven arrows. A rarely used, thickly overgrown route led to Edern, but given the... Forest dangers, most travelers preferred to journey by river. 
Okay, now Triss, for those reasons after Full Test's death, the sorceress decided that she would not help, or that she would help the Witcher most by staying by his side. Uh, not heeding her threatened position at court, she harnessed all her strengths and powers to helping Geralt, whom she still had feelings to, obviously. Vernon Roach. Um, I probably owe this guy a lot, because he did pretty much get me out of prison. Uh, continuing his private investigation, Vernon headed for the Temerian Adernian border, where he expected to find clues the king to find clues about the King Slayer's whereabouts. Uh, thanks to his very best informant, Roach knew that the man could have been hiding among the Scoyatel, located in the vicinity of Floatsam, a trading post. Thus, way the royal hound Vernon Roach was on the hunt once more. So very loyal to the king. Uh, even to this day. Uh, Demaven, son of Verferil, ruled the kingdoms of Adern, which was mightily aggrieved during the last war with Nilfgaard. A proponent of authoritarian rule, he is seen as having no love for non-humans. Okay. He often moved radically against the Scoia'tael, though he drooled in spite of himself when the guerrillas perpetrated massacres on his own people. And these justified the punitive expeditions he delighted in sending into the foothills of Dol Blathana. He also showed no shyness towards imprisoning and torturing rabble rousers and street prophets who would interfere in his politics. Thus, it is no wonder that many could not wait to see him dead. In spite of this, his subjects could not help but be surprised by his death, for it is not every day that a crowned head paints the palace floor with its blood. Yeah. Oh, we've got a little, uh, we got the dragon thing in here now. That's cool. Witcher Silver Sword. I don't know what these diagrams are. Crafting die. Oh, okay. So these are the things we would give to, uh, to a craftsman. And if we have all the components, then he can make, just make us a silver sword. I imagine the one we have now is better, though. Is it not? This is 10 to 17. The one we have now. Yeah, so... At least, at least that one's still gonna hold us over. Hear that? I smell an elf. Elves just randomly play flutes in the forest. That's so racist. Oh, there he is. It's that same guy. That's. Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorveth, a regular son of a whore. Oh, okay. That is I've long word. awaited our meeting. Laid plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. Interesting. Okay. Oh, we whoa. Alive. No any useful spells. Get his attention. I need to focus. I'll try. Climb down and we'll finish this. I await. Ha! You're a man without honor, Vernon Roach. An insect I'll not duel, but one that I will crush. Seems like you spout the same old elven drivel. What do you mean, Witcher? I've seen your kind before. Proud and shay, sneaking around forests. Helpless, yet masking that with acts of increasing cruelty. I helped kill Roach's king. You call that helpless? Or would you call me a terrorist? No one will grant us our freedom, Witcher. We must win it for ourselves. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. <laughs> Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the Square Tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? 
Or the archers in those shrubs. <laughs> Triss, now! Well, I don't think that worked out well. Oh. That ought to discourage them. Triss, are you alright? Lovely. Whoa! This is not good. You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Oh, it's on. It is absolutely Garrett, on right now. The spell's still working. Stay close. What's, uh, what's happening? Triss is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We yeah! must find our way towards Flux. Oh, they're in here. Get your hands off my ass. Who did you think it was? I'm not a sack of flour or one of your kids. I noticed. <laughs> I'm really sick. At least I'll die holding a lovely ass. Not mine. I'll hold the spell. Come on, let's go. Stop shaking. Focus. Oh. Catch the old one. Are you all right? Yes. Fine. Oh. Sons of bitches. What's happening? All I see are your boots. <laughs> Where the hell is that train? Out of it. I'm trying to grab all this stuff. I'm starting to think we'll make it. Wait. The barrier's waning. Triss! Be quick! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Geralt, kill them now! Oh, she's not gonna last very long here. Come on. Hey, Larry! Okay, I'm getting all of these swords, like, how much- I have to be carrying- look at that, it's ridiculous. It doesn't seem to matter because we can't really move that fast now anyways. Squirrels are attacking! Alarm! Squirrels! There's a mage among them! Uh -oh. Ready yourselves! Oh, is that us? Is that where we want to be? Skoyatel, always doing things the wrong way. I get I get what they're trying to do. And this guy, like, he's clearly getting used. You know each other? Rather well. Whoa. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. knows me rather well. Uh, what?